In this tutorial we are going to have a look at how we can create more chests at the time and be able to store different items in the different chests. Um, it's still, it was still possible in the old version of this uh, tutorial where you could create more chests and you can store items in them but when you saved these items and loaded them again well then some of the items or all the items from one of the chests will overwrite the items from the other chest so that both chests will end up containing the same items and that's not ideal at all for our game because we would lose some items um, in one of the chests if, we, if it worked like this. So what we're going to do is to make sure that we can actually pick up some items here in our inventory and we can go to one chest here and maybe say that this chest should contain all our materials and then we can go and pick up some more items here and this chest over here should just contain all our uh, potions and armor and weapons and so on. So as you can see now, we have two different chests. One is like large and the other one here is, is small. If I go back here and I save the inventory and I click load, I open this one up, all the items here are still here and over here all the items are still here. We can also check it with by closing our game opening it again, nothing in the inventory, I click load, all the items goes into the inventory and as you can see here all the items are here so this is what we're going to do in this li little tutorial series here we're going to make sure that we can store different items in more chests so you can put more chests in your game so we're going to make mm, kind of a big change or we're gonna change something at least uh, we're gonna change the way that we handle our chests because right now in the old version of uh, this tool before we updated to this version where we can have more chests we had all the functionality stored in um, inside the chest inventory here um, in our canvas so the chest inventory contained all the items that we're storing um, but what we're going to do now is that we're going to take all the items and move them out of the chest inventory here in our canvas that shows the visual part we're going to move them all the way to the different chests in our game so that each chest contains its own items and whenever our player enters a chest and opens it up these items are transferred or yeah, transferred to the um, chest inventory here that we are sh sh viewing or we are showing to the player so the chest inventory here we are opening up basically this visual part here this is basically going to be um, a window into the correct chest that we are running into here instead of just having all the items stored locally in the window here so this is going to make it uh, make it more logic uh, so to say because it makes more sense that each chest contains its own items and when you go in there well then you're viewing the items in the chest instead of the chest inventory itself the visual part has every single item you've stored in any chest so that was um, the explanation of what we're going to do and a little about how we're going to do it. Um, so now we can start looking at how uh, or looking at the code for it and looking at the things we need to set up. So before we start the actual tutorial where we're going to create these different chests, we'll have to fix two bugs. So one of the bugs is something that we already fixed earlier, but apparently it came back around after we added the crafting stuff to the inventory. Um, I'm not sure why it's there or maybe I removed some code but at least I, I have this bug again and the bug is whenever you um, let's open up our inventory here and we pick up some items and we equip them so when we mouse over an item here and right click on it we'll get this missing component exception because these items here or these slots in, uh, in the um, character panel here doesn't have any uh, um, canvas script on it or a canvas group on it for that matter so to fix this we need to open up our slot script and inside the slot script under the pointer click uh, function here we'll have to add an extra line or an extra um, condition here to the if statement because this is where we check if we have a canvas group and this part of the if statement is what makes um, makes our code fail so to fix this we'll have to make another statement here saying and Let's just leave it with this and we should say canvas group isn't equal to null. So before we check if the alpha is larger than zero so that we can't click anything that is hidden, well then we're going to check if our canvas group is null. 
so that we won't get an exception from this line of code. So if we save this and jump back into Unity, play our game, and pick up some items, our sword here, and if we right click on it now, nothing is going to happen because um, it doesn't have a canvas group and we're not going to get any exception here. The other bug we will have to take a look at has something to do with the crafting bench. Because if we run our game and we pick up some different items we want to craft and we, we decide to save and load during that phase, if we do like this, and put in a couple of items here for example, and we decide to save our game and then load it, then you'll notice that we have one crafting button right now and one preview slot, but when I save and load, we'll duplicate these. If I say save and load, you'll see that now we have four uh, slots here we have two, we have a crafting button and a preview slot here and we also have a crafting button and a preview slot down here. And we're not interested in that, we only want to have one preview slot and one crafting button, button at all times. So as you can see if I keep spamming load here, we'll get a bunch of the, uh, preview slots and crafting buttons, which means that we have a stack of crafting buttons here and we have a stack of um, preview slots here. So we'll be able to take these and we'll be able to move them out here and you'll see we have like a, a, a very huge amount of different buttons. So to fix this we need to jump into our crafting bench script. And in here we need to make two if statements. One if statement should make sure that our crafting button doesn't, um, doesn't get created if it already exists. And the other one is an if statement that makes sure that our preview slot won't be created if it doesn't exist. Uh, if it does already exist of course. So if we make an if statement here and we say if our game object dot find craft button and here it's very important that this find here looks for the correct name of the craft button so this should be the same name as you're using down here so if you want to be sure you can copy and paste the one on up here. And remember to put the exclamation mark here in front of your uh, game object that find because we only want to do this if we can't find the object. If we can find the object, well then we want to create create it of course. Then you're going to go down all the way to your before uh, preview slot here and copy all this code and paste it inside the if statement. And you can basically copy this if statement here and go down underneath, paste it, and change the craft button name to preview slot, and then make a scope under it, and then take the rest of the code here and copy and paste it inside that. So your function should look like this. The top part is uh, encapsulated in the find for the craft button, and the bottom part is encapsulated in the find for the preview button, a preview slot. So let's save and jump back into Unity and in here we can try to run our game to test if it works so click the play button and pick up some different items here and open it up and then place them inside the, the crafting bench try to save and load so right now you can see that our crafting button and our preview slot is not being duplicated anymore but we have one other problem now as you can see the crafting button and the, the preview slot doesn't go inside the borders of this inventory anymore or inside the borders of the crafting bench for that matter. So we need to make the borders larger so that they also contain the crafting button and the preview slot. So if you stop the game and run back into your um, crafting bench here, you'll notice that this line of code here actually makes sure that our inventory gets the correct size but right now we are only setting the correct size if our crafting button isn't created this means that whenever we load our game and our crafting button exists already and we're not creating a new crafting button well then we are not setting the correct size either so we need to take this line of code and cut it and paste it out here after our create layout then we're going to save this and go back into unity play our game again and then we can pick up some items go to the crafting bench put some items in it and save and load and 
Now you can see it has the correct format out here. Our button and our preview slot is inside the crafting bench and we are not duplicating our items anymore. So that was the few things we needed to do to be before we can actually start the, the tutorial. So now our project is prepared for adding extra chests. In the next video we are going to add these chests by creating some new scripts and moving some stuff around so that we can actually also save and load these chests without having any overriding of items for example. So let's move on to the next part.